Jackson. Sixteen. Eighty-four. Well, there have been two 180s in this match, both in the first leg. Martin hunting one down here is Wolfie. Wow. Steve Beaton looking for the leg that will definitely secure qualification for the next phase, wow. albeit a game against Michael Van Gerwen, I may add. Couple of extra shekels. Oh, that's awkward, Martin's moving over. Steve massively wants a 140 here, that'll leave tops. Well, that puts him in the box seat to qualify now. Just needs 40 points. And the group stage will effectively be done for him. Tops then for Beaton. Double ten. Double five. Yes, Steve. And that eliminates any dispute and any doubt whatsoever. Steve Beaton has the leg difference that secures his position in the next round. Now he can think about winning the match. If he does that, he'd play Kim Hybrex, not Michael Van Gerwen. Martin Adams averaging bang on 100. Steve 96, quality game. How many times have we said that throughout the group phase of this Grand Slam? Some of the most amazing darts have been thrown. Still in there, fighting away is the Adonis. Two. Can you even see any of it, Martin? Well, maybe he could see it, but he couldn't hit it, could he? Of a yet another three figure finish. Not this time, a ton would do though, wouldn't it? Wild from the wolf. 44. Chance. Makes him roads here, leaves tops. Martin needs to get 96 now. We'll stay there. Put one right on top of that, that's what he wants. Couldn't find it. 56. Top step for Steve Bean to make it back to back legs and get within one of Wolfie. Yes, squeezes it in the corner. Well, he's got the big incentive here to keep on going. It doesn't matter just about qualifying. If he can win the match, Steve Beaton, he'll avoid Van Gerwen. Remember, the winner of the match now plays Hybrex. The loser plays Van Gerwen. And Beaton will not be beaten. Sixteen. I've already seen Dave Chisnell with a nine data. Michael Van Gerwen missing double six, uh, double twelve. Well, it's quite a way away. He said he lived nearer. Pretty good, that. And when you consider he lives in the Netherlands, you'll realise just how far away he was. One it was quite poor, wasn't it? Well, this is not poor, though, from Steve Beaton. After nine darts thrown, he's left 121. 
And whatever Martin Adams throws here, even if it's his second maximum of the match, which it isn't as it happens, since his 740, beaten his three darts away from tying it up. Gone for treble 15 for double eight, that's okay. Didn't need to uh, showboat with a, a ball finish. Leaves 32. Lovely darts from the Adonis. Martin Adams will have the darts if if it goes to a last leg and it does a great match from two great competitors four apiece one leg shootout last leg big leg they're rolling back the years the crowd continues to roll back the beers but here Adams is looking to start off with a biggie a ton, that's okay. Forty-three. Who wants to play Michael Van Gerwen? Nobody. Well, Kim Hybrex is not exactly a buy, is it? Martin Adams has won a 5-4 in this by beating Yella Klassen and Steve lost 5-4 to Yella. 83. It is no easy draw, but Van Gerwen is a harder draw than Kim Hyrex. That's fact. 59. Adams by 100 and... 18 less these and oh, that's nowhere near enough for Steve Beaton he looked like he climbed up to the top of the mountain but it's can't cling on by his fingertips he won three on the trot from 1-4 to 4-4 but now Martin Adams has the match in a vice-like grip <laughs> oh, just makes me chuckle. Well, Steve's not laughing is he? Well, Throw that last one with some welly, I'll tell you. 60. Treble 19. Tops now to win the group. 77. Well, it was a good miss, wasn't it? He made sure he went high to come back for three at double top. Much more preferable than coming back for double ten and going inside and all well, sorts. Well, the way team left, but it may not matter. Three in the hand. Game shot. To finish off Group B, Martin Adams tops it. The runner-up of the group is the man he's just beaten, Steve Beaton. Coming up next, we have Andy Ford. Crowd enjoyed that. Two great champions colliding on the big stage. With confirmation, three wins out of three for Martin Adams. Top Group B, Steve Beaton in second position. They love Wolfie here in Wolves. Martin Adams, another fabulous display against another great champion, Steve Beaton. Mutual respect between the two. Adams stormed into a 4 1 lead. The beat battle back for four apiece, the last leg decider. And it's Wolfie who's smiling. Three out of three. A great celebration. And he tops the table with three straight wins from Steve Bean in second place. Plays Kim Hybrex in the uh, last 16 of the competition. Martin Adams is here. Congratulations, Martin. It's, it's, it's gone like a dream for you, this tournament. Well, thank you very much. Yeah, I'm, I'm pleased to have played three and won three. Um, uh, the tough players I've played, all tough. You look no, like you're no. enjoying yourself and the crowd are enjoying you being here. I'm pleased the crowd, the crowd are enjoying me being here, but uh, yes, I have thoroughly enjoyed myself, having a great time. Was, was, you, was you a bit apprehensive when, when you come here thinking, I'm going to get some stick, or did you feel that, because this, this is a big BDO county area, isn't it? So did you feel like it was going to get that support? 
I didn't really know, to be honest. Yeah, I'm very apprehensive because you, you know you read all this uh, stuff goes out on. Facebook. Everybody has to tell. Even though I don't do, I don't do Facebook. Bit of Twitter. Everybody tells you how bad it's going to be and all that sort of stuff. But I mean, the crowd have been fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Yeah, it won them over early doors. I think that was it with your performance. But your attitude, you, you have not stopped smiling. I know you've enjoyed it. We know that. We can <laughs> see it. It's brilliant. It's brilliant to see. I love it. I the just love playing. Well, that's the thing. The video asked you to play in it. Wouldn't you have played otherwise? No, if the video had said, no, well, we're not sure, I would have said no. But I've got to be honest with you. It's not going to be lying no, to you. No, you've always that's told the truth. the truth. Yeah. With the reception you've got, do you wish this had happened more years ago? Do you wish you'd been here since 2007? You could have won a few quid as well, the way you're playing. Yeah, but I could have won a few quid, but money's not everything. But I don't regret any decisions I've made. I've made my decisions, and I'm comfortable with what I, the decisions I've made. Um, it's other people that seem to have the problems with them. <laughs> you, we were chatting off, off, off camera, and you were saying yeah. you're so happy with what you've achieved in the game. Absolutely, yeah. Do, do you think that's why you're still enjoying it? And, and no offence is meant at, at nearly 60? <laughs> 60? None taken. <laughs> How can you be that good at that age? But are, are you just love? You just love enjoying it? Yeah, because if I win it, anything else I win now, I, I look as a, as a real bonus, without a doubt. You know, I won the three World Championships, won the three World Masters, two World Cups, a whole host of other stuff. Um, you know, yeah, anything I win now, I, I just look as a bonus and happy days. And I'm really, really enjoying playing. Do, do, you still, do, you, do you still feel the nerves a bit or not? Of course you do, yeah. That's good. It's like Phil said the other day, anyone that goes up there on their first game and they're a little bit nervous, they're lying. If they say, if they say that, they're lying, because you are, yeah. without a doubt. Me too, still. By, yeah. by winning that, you've avoided Michael Van Gerwen. That was an important one to win, given the form he's in at the moment. <laughs> Everybody says that to you, but he's only a dart player. He's only playing with three darts. He ain't playing with four. Most you know, people wish so he was playing with one or two, though. That's the way. Well, there is that to it, yeah. But you know, he's he's a dart player like myself, and you know, you'd have a game of darts, and whoever wins wins. <laughs> We're worried about the, the final match of the evening, Andy Fordham. This it's an incredible story. The way he's got back into this and playing in front of his adoring fans. I am so pleased for Andy the way it's turned out. Getting through the qualifier and getting here was an, a, a massive achievement for him. And now he's really starting to enjoy it and get into it. He had a great win. He can only go forward now in all aspects. And he could win tonight. He's got to win 5-2. Could he do that? Of course he can, yeah. If the Andy starts bringing out the darts that Andy's played in years, years gone by, and he's very, very capable of doing so, yeah, he could win that 5-0. Do, do you see it? Do you see it as a BDO versus PDC, or do you just see it as another tournament to feature BDO and PDC players? I just see it as another tournament. And I think the BDO players that have been here this week have all been grateful for the invitation. It is just another event. It ain't BDO versus PDC. If you were going to do that, you'd have an even number of players each side. So it's just another event. But, you know, I don't think we need to get... We, in this day and age, we, now we don't need to get carried away with this PDC versus BDO. It's another event. It happens to include players from both sides of the fence. That's great to hear. I don't, build the bridges, I think that's the way it should be. That's all right, yeah. Definitely. You've got Kim Hybrex on Thursday. You've got a day off tomorrow, which you probably yeah. need, don't you, these days? You've got me over to do it tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> he's, not, he's not joking, either. <laughs> it was the washing yesterday, believe it or not. It's the rock and roll life you lead, Wolfie. Oh, rock is, and roll yeah. life. But no, I'm looking forward to playing, Kim. I've never played Kim, as I recall, in a singles uh, match. I've only ever played him in pairs when he's been partnering his brother. Well done, Ronnie. Sir. His brother Ronnie, yeah, Ronnie yeah? Yeah. yeah? Three out of three, can't be bad. Last 16, job done. Keep going. Keep going, we wish you well. Thank you very much, thank you. Andy Fordham, the Viking, on his way next.